Okay, Math 31, let's take a look at the midpoint formula. So the midpoint M of the line segment with endpoints P and Q has the following coordinates. X sub 1 plus X sub 2 over 2, Y sub 1 plus Y sub 2 over 2. So basically we're going to average out the X coordinates and we're going to take the average of the Y coordinates and that's going to be our midpoint. So again, endpoint, endpoint, midpoint. So let's make sure we're clear on this. Here's the midpoint, right, halfway between P and Q. So if we've got two endpoints, we can find the midpoint with that formula. All right, or vice versa. If we have an endpoint and a midpoint, we could find the other endpoint. Right? Endpoint and a midpoint, we could find the other endpoint. So we're going to work this formula. So let's take a look at example one. It says use the midpoint formula to do each of the, or excuse me, let's take a look at example six. Use the midpoint formula to do each of the following. Find the coordinates of the midpoint, so we want the midpoint of the segment with endpoints negative 7, negative 5, and negative 2, 13. So what I'm going to do before I even go through the algebra on that is I, I want to graph it just to get an idea of what this is going to look like. So let me get my ruler out once I find where I left it, got it, and let's just sketch these in our own little coordinate system and see how we're doing. Now I gotta scooch this up so I might lose sight of that. Let me see if I can get all of it in sight. I think we can still see it and I've got a little bit of room left. Okay, so we'll go right about there. All right, so let me sketch this. What do we got? Negative seven, negative five, and negative two, 13. All right, and I'm just gonna make my best guess once I get going with this. Again, when I'm sketching by hand, it's, it's not the greatest but I like to get gut feelings. All right, so negative seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then negative five, one, two, three, four, ooh, that one's too big, five. So negative seven, negative five, and then negative two, 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so if I had to guess, right, it looks like this was negative seven, so I've labeled and scaled my axes. All right, if I had to guess, if I take my ruler, this is a little over, it's about like 1.3 inches. So let me go about halfway here. So this is ish, ish, my midpoint, right? So I've got here, end point, right, end point. And then I want to find the coordinates of this midpoint. And if I had to guess, it looks like I'm at about one, two, three, four, like a little bit more than four, so maybe negative four and a half, and then up one, two, three, four, five. So I think my guess, actually, let me stop putting so many arrows. I think the midpoint is around negative 4.5, four. Somewhere in there, right? It looks like I went about halfway between negative four, negative five, and then maybe up one, two, three, four. No, actually, I think I went up a little taller, around five. Okay, that's my guess. All right, and that's all fine and good, but let's go figure out the formula. So it says average the x coordinates, average the y coordinates. So I'm gonna say my midpoint here would be equal to the average of the x coordinates. So I'm gonna do negative seven plus negative two divided by two, and then we need to average the y coordinates, so negative five, plus 13 divided by two. And when I take a look at those, let's see what we're getting. Negative seven plus negative two is negative nine. Halves, negative five plus eight, oops, excuse me, negative five plus 13 is eight over two. So I believe the midpoint is negative 4.5, four, which isn't too far off from what I had guessed, right? I had guessed about negative 4.5, Five. So, okay, I'm happy with that. Now, just so we're clear, if you wanted to leave the answer as negative nine halves comma four, these are both acceptable answers. What's not acceptable is leaving a fraction as eight halves. We're not gonna leave it as eight halves. We know that we can reduce our fraction, so make sure we're doing that. All right, so then let's take a look at this next one. I'm gonna scooch this up so we get it in view. All right, let me move that all the way up so we have some room to write. Okay, 
So this is saying now the diameter of a circle has endpoints. I want to be clear, endpoints, 8, negative 20, and 4, negative 4. Find the center of the circle, and then what is the length of the radius? So this is a different type of problem. They're giving me two endpoints, right? And if you remember that if you have a circle, the diameter goes right through that center, and the endpoints are on the circumference of the, or I should say the boundary of the circle, right? And then the center would be in the middle. That, so we're going to find a midpoint and we were given two endpoints. So actually that is the same as example A now that I'm looking at it. Okay, I can read my own question, great. So let's take a look, let's get some gut feelings. All right, so I have eight, negative 20, and four, negative four. These are, that's a large number, so I'm gonna go by fives. I'm gonna say this is five, 10, right? 5, 10, and we're going to go negative 5, negative 10, negative 15, negative 20 here, and then I've got, yeah, that'll do it. So we've got 4, negative 4, and then I've got 8, negative 20. All right, so imagine I had a circle built off of this. Now, I'm not the greatest at drawing circles, but it would be something, like, oh gosh, I was doing okay until it came around there. Something like that. All right. So here would be the center of my circle. So let's just make sure we've got this, right? We've got end point, end point, and this is midpoint, and that's what I want. Now if I had to guess, it looks like my midpoint is about five, maybe, and then like negative 12. So I'm gonna guess this is about five, negative 12. And I say five because it looks like it's lining up pretty good there. And then negative 12 because it looks like it's, yeah, it's not quite negative 15 or negative 10. Negative 12 seems like a pretty good guess. So let's, let's see if we can figure this out. So I wanna find the center, which means I really wanna just find the midpoint. So I'm gonna take the average of the x coordinates. So we've got eight plus four over two. And then I'm gonna average the y coordinates, negative 20 plus negative four over two. And when I take a look at that, eight plus four is 12. 12 divided by two is six. Um, negative 20 minus four is negative 24. Negative 24 divided by two is negative 12. Hey, that's not too far off from what I was guessing. So there's my midpoint, or I should say this is the center of my circle, right? So I found the center of the circle. And then it says, what is the length of the radius? Well, the radius is the distance from a midpoint to an endpoint. It doesn't matter which one I choose, but I need to find one of these distances, right? That is my radius. So I'll use my midpoint now of, or my center of six negative 12, and then you can pick either of these points. I'm just gonna opt to pick this one because it's smaller numbers. You could just as easily have picked eight negative 20, but to find the distance here, I'm now gonna apply the distance formula, right? And the distance formula says, take the difference in your x-coordinates, so let's go six minus four and square that and then take the difference in your y coordinates, so negative 12 minus a negative four, and square that. So as I look at that, I'm now looking at, well this is six minus four, that is two squared. Negative 12 plus four is negative eight squared. So I'm looking at the square root of four plus 64, which is the square root of 68, now that makes me a little nervous, 68's an even number, and we do want to simplify this. So if you remember back from your earlier algebra days, let me make a tree. So 68 can be broken into, I can see at least two and 34. This is two and 17. So I can rewrite this as the square root of four times 17, which is the square root of four times the square root of 17, which is ultimately two root 17. Okay, so there is my radius. So if I wanna write this up, I'll put my little there for, so we have it. I have that the center is six negative 12, and the radius is two root 17, all right? Okay, so with that, we got one more real world application we're gonna look at, and that's gonna be the end of section 2.1. I'll see you in a few, bye.